Hey, hi. How you doing? You doing all right? Uh, welcome back to Late Night Final Fantasy. Should have started a few hours ago, but uh, I may have gotten distracted. Anyway. <laughs> hey, what up? Yeah. One second. This is on my end. Okay. Alrighty, so. I have changed. Yeah, this also happened. Ignore that. I have changed my coat. Where's the button? There it is. I have changed my coat. It is very nice. I've also expanded my horizons. Quite a bit. Look at all those minions and stuff that I have. Also, this is staying up permanently now because I, because of this thing. So I have to know if people are talking to me. So the, we the weeble stays. Think of it like my webcam. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the reason why I was late, I did some daily quests. Um, oh, I. Ah, here it is. Ta-da! I played a lot of Rival Wings, which is actually really, really fun. I actually really like Rival Wings. Because that's where you get these. And you need those for collectibles anyway. Let's continue the main quest. Hmm? Why, yes, I am Professor Lombertan. Big pardon. You wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals? Truly? Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss with m my work with a fellow man of science. Wowie. Oh, God. They look so nerdy. Makes you look like a... Not me. Anyway. Ooh. Never mind. Oh, hey, it's my shirt, but brown. <laughs> well. <laughs> Glad I bought it. Ah, oh, so rare it is to find fellow intellectuals in this region. It is even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, there was another. A hermit to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow. Unsociable, rather daft at the first impression. 
He possessed of an amazing affinity towards si the scientific pursuits. Get this over here a little bit. But to the matter at hand. Did you say you wish not to conduct field observations, but to harvest a corrupted crystal? Egad, man, at least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you have sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Luckily for you, I have precisely the means by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply store the crystal you seek within this warded pot to protect yourself from its deleterious effects. Though I suppose you will be bombarded with its energies until you place it within the vessel. Well, perhaps it shall motivate you to work quickly. In any case, take the pot to Hahasako. A student of mine monitoring the flow of Aether at Highbridge. Explain to him your quest, and he shall instruct you in the finer points of crystal harvesting. Deliver the warded pot to Hasako. Haha, <laughs> Sako. Oh my god, we got the, the puppy. Oh Jesus, his music is intense. We gotta harvest the corrupted crystal. So that we could reverse the, or modify the eight. Jesus. So that we can harvest the, or modify the uh, aether, correct? Of Garuda's wind. Yes. Very green dog. Hey, Hahasako. I need taco. Did you give me a quest at one point? I don't remember. How many times must I explain, be made to explain myself? I am not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I've chosen this precise position to perform scientific measurements. What a nerd. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of Professor Lambertin. You thieving knave, I shall call for the- Oh, you say the man himself lent it to you. Then he must have sought me out for his instruction, which believes he- Which means he believes me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations! At last, the recognition I so rightfully deserve. What a nerd. Also kind of a dick. Bum ba da -ba -ba. Woolen dress gloves. Wowie. I like my gloves. I'll take the gold piece. Oh, frabjous day, Kalu Kale, that I should be chosen to guide this man. Yes, I, Hasako, greatest of Professor Lamberton's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your time is in. Timing is impeccable, in fact, for I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. There, the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that naught but a perfect piece will satisfy your high standards. In which case, you must needs descend to the deepest depths. Amidst the flowing waters and the murderous mirror nights lies the most fantastic formation I have found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. Place it within the warded button and bear it back to me for inspection. The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of the Burning Wall is treacherous and terrifying. But advance with appropriate caution and you shall surely survive. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Me and Quentin are leaving. Finally, a plot reason to go over here. I'm stuck on a barrel. Herbies. Herbies everywhere. 
Should I dye the coat? Hmm. Maybe I should go for a black coat. Mirror night. Mirror night everywhere. They're like big owl people. They're kind of assholes, really. Uppa. I'll be honest, it took me forever to figure out how to get down. And it seems I've been able to find my way down again. Shit. I just jump. I just jump down, please. How the fuck do I get down? There. Yeah, keep going this way. Oh, there it is. The path has been discovered. Dum bum. Ba da 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 I'm coming to dig this hole, little brother. <clears throat> there ain't no one gonna stop me. Oh, I guess I'm killing this guy. Anyway. Honk. And I use the warded pot to collect the corrupted crystal is mine. Me and my puppy are going home. Me and my obnoxiously epic puppy music. A bubby. Oh, that is a dead end. Bum, 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 Do you know these are demons? Golden Fleece and Furbles, they're technically considered a demon. They're type of void scent. <laughs> oh god, the Furbies. The hell Furbies. Why do I feel like I'm riding straight out of fucking Okami? Probably the fire on the sides of the wolf. Reminds me a lot of Amaterasu. And the dog goes into the abyss. You've come good lumping back. Have you the crystal then? Here you go. What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal, Professor Lamberton would doubtlessly chortle with joy when you present it to him in person. Oh, and upon your return, do you remember? Do you remember how to account how I helped you with your harvesting? You didn't do shit, dude. I mean, he gave me a stick. They probably could have punched the crystal and made it and got <laughs> gotten it to break. I got very strong hands, you know.
Hey, Lamberton. Lamberton. A keen scholar since tells me that you've obtained a corrupted crystal. Am I right? Here go. Ooh. If you would grant me a moment to examine the crystal. Oh, it is as you desire. The corrupted crystal overflowing with wind I expected either. Remind me for what purpose did you intend to use this crystal again? What? The breach of barrier comprised of wind aspected aether? Oh dear, that might prove problematic as this crystal will only serve to strengthen the barrier. I suppose I'm at fault for not inquiring as your objectives from the start. Had I known your intent, I would have never sent you to Hasako. What is science if not trial and error? And can you truly say that this failure has taught you nothing? Think, man, you know, understand the methods necessary to safely collect a corrupted crystal. Well, doubtless, we will doubtless have no difficulty doing so once more. What's some more, the crystal you collected can serve as an invaluable resource for the ethereal studies conducted by the students of Baldesian. You've heard of them? Well, I don't mean to boast, but to have a professional relationship with the organization. Not as equal, of course. But I would never be so bold as to claim that level of expertise. Are you alright? Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. Anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You've still a corrupted crystal to find. Deedly do, neighborino, I deedly do. Please don't send me another fucking scoodly boo. Anyway. Ooh, itchy eyeball. Corrupted crystals of sufficient size and strength are not all that common. I fear, unfortunately, one of my other students, Sana, claims to have discovered another promising site in Eastern Lenosha. Wait, that's not correct. Eastern Lenosha was where she was nearly killed when wandering too close to an Imperial Castrum. <laughs> now that made for an amusing anecdote. <laughs> it was Western Lenosha. Serious on the Isles of Umbra, to be precise. I can't recall her exact reasoning. Something to do with one of Jalamud's talons or some such nonsense. Which I can say for certain is that she is still in Aleport attempting to gain access to the Isles. Now we go to the Isle of Umbra. Why not travel there and see if Siana's inquiries bear fruit? If you can look past the crass and violent ways of the local pirates, you might find your time there to be quite pleasurable. Oh, do not forget to take your makeshift wooded pot lest you think you are unprepared for the task. I bring... Pot. Hopefully she likes it. I hope she likes it. I'd be sad. You like pot? You like my pot? Put it on your head, wear it like a hat. Oh, I swapped out my minion. It's okay. I got quite a few of them. I'm riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex? He's riding like a small T-Rex. Oh my god, I want one. Hello, Siana. Now, yeah, corrupted crystals. So I have no interest in being the butt of your jokes, so if you've no other reason for addressing me, kindly leave me be. Here, have some pot. Well, I'll be damned. Professor Lamberton did send you. Beg your pardon, it seems we got off on the wrong foot. I'm Siana. 
greatest of the professor's pupils, which is doubtless why he bid me bid you seek me out. Indeed, I am an accomplished scholar with an extensive background in... Oh, gods, just listen to me prattle on and on. I must have given this introduction a dozen times by now. If that. As I told the professor in my many missives, I believe that the area surrounding Pharaoh's series is replete with corrupted crystals of exceptional strength. Unfortunately, I've yet to test my hypothesis, as all access to the Isles of Umbra is prohibited at present for reasons unknown to me. You see, my attempts to acquire this information are often met with annoyance and disdain. It's rather puzzling, since I always take the time to explain my motivations in great detail to the subjects of my questioning. Mayhap you will have better luck resting information from these yellow jackets I've all but given up at this point. Eh, probably not pirates. I want a different minion, I don't really like the... the boat. I'll take a little bird ba bird boy. It's never pirates in Limsa. There's never any pirates in Limsa Lominsa. I don't know. This guy's named Dweeb? Oh. Kanib. Oh, he startled me. Don't you know better than to sneak up on a person at a time like this with all this fatuous gossip of spirits and specters haunting the Isles of Umbra? Just because I know it's nonsense doesn't make it any less frightening. Ghost! I mean, I know the Isles are haunted. You're keen on traveling to the Isles of Umbra. But the Isles, lad, are you drunk or just crazy? Ain't nothing there but death, death, and more death. What about undeath? They got any of that? Any undeath in stock? I wanted to run up and over the rack. Disappointed! Mm, the Isles of Umbra? What interest have you in that god's forsaken place? Ever since we were forced to abandon Ferris Sirius, the Isles have become naught with more than a graveyard for ships unable to navigate the shores. And a purgatory for the souls dragged down to the depths with them. Probably not ghosts, probably pirates. Probably pirates. Oh, this guy's so fucking ripped. And you got little old me riding on the back, just kind of splayed out. <laughs> I'm just chilling, dude. Ah, Weeble, you've returned. Tell me of your findings. <laughs> really? Infested with the undead, you say? That, that is a very, very interesting development. Excuse me for a moment while I gather my thoughts. W -w Worry not, my friend. I've given your findings some thoughts, and I've concluded that this talk of spirits is not more than local folklore. As for why all the travel to the Isles of Umbra is restricted, well, mayhap it's considered too dangerous owing to the abandonment of Pharaoh Sirius. Yes, well, anyway, while you were questioning those yellow jackets, I paid a visit to the local pub, since even an esteemed scholar like myself enjoys dur dulling her wits on occasion. You, took a, you drank really fucking quick. It was there that I heard tell of a man named Skifrin, who was recently detained after returning from... Wait for it. The Isles of Umbra. The first I've heard of someone actually traveling to and from there, so I'm curious as to how he obtained permission. Why not have a chat with him in my stead? He's arrested after all, so I'm somewhat reticent, reticent to approach him myself. I assume it's that dude that was passed out over... Yep. I think it was the dude passed out. Come on, make the jump. There you go. Whee! 
Oui. Oui. Wait, you're not the dude that was passed out. That's the dude that was passed out. That guy's new. When'd you get arrested? No, I have to go back. She calls to me. Sings to me. I tell Mimado I'm sorry. Give him this. He was... He was right. Or, or could you release me? Yes, yes, release me. I will go and tell her. Let me... Let me go to her. How about no? This dude's obviously been sirened. Leave him in there. Negative, sir. A fucking... Master Hands evil twin carrying me around here. Kaizo Mario? What did Skiffrin have to say? Mm, that's not terribly her helpful. Didn't care less about how much he misses his favorite bar winch. Oh, was that about a man named Mimidoa? Wait, I know that name. That's the bastard that grabbed my arse the other day at the pub. Well, if you want to give him that feather, be my guest. I'm not going anywhere near him in his wandering hands. Damn. A sexual offender fucking Lollafell. Weird. Yeah, I hear you're a piece of shit. You can tell by the mustache. Another initiate Aria. No, then what Aria? Speak up, son, I can't hear ya. Here you go. Yeah, bugger me, is this what I think it is? No, it couldn't be. You found this, you say? Where did you say you found it? Skiffrin, you say? I was hoping to have a word with the lad, but it sounds like there's not left but twixt but he not left twixt his ears. He was supposed to help patch up Pharaoh's serious he was. Company sent me to supervise a lot of them. I weren't getting work done on their own, see. Half of them walked off, half of them ran off, and half of them up and vanished. What's that? You'd be looking for passage to the Isles of Umbra? Well, then just say so. I've been thinking of dispatching someone to take a look on behalf of old Mimidoa. Tell them how the land lies. Ain't nobody been interested until you came a calling. Well, ports up in arms about spirits and so forth. By the gill, I'd hire some cell swords and let them uh, sort it out. But you'll do in a pinch, you will. Show this parchment to the skipper and he'll see you there and back. There and back again. Like the hobbit that I am. Let's go, puppy. Puppy hop! Puppy hop! 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 Oh. So you went and had a word with Mimidoa. Of the valuable time you saw fit to waste amounted to something. Yeah. You mean that disgusting creature was Skiffrin's superior? I find that hard to believe. This writ of passage does appear to be genuine, so it must be true. I must say, it is a relief to work with such an industrious man as you. I look forward to hearing of the discoveries you will make on the Isles of Umbra. Without me. Yeah, has no desire to journey the Isles. Fine, fine. I fail to see the justification for dragging me along on your journey. But if you insist, I will go as well. But twelve is my witness. If you leave me behind to be devoured by some horrid abomination, I... I shall come back to haunt you. Yeah, good luck with that, lady. Oh yeah, I got this thing. We got some chocolate bars over here from it, too. Want a Butterfinger? Want a Butterfinger? I will eat the last Butterfinger on account of I am fat. Uh, 
Diabetes, here I come, baby. Hell yeah, brother. Now take me to the Isles of Umbra, he bids. As if it's as simple as... I don't know, I see you've got a rid of passage. Alright, then climb aboard. <laughs> it turns out it was just that easy. One moment. God, I regret that. <sighs> anyway. This doesn't seem all that bad. I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but... Ah, the hell's with this here. Take your pot and go on without me. You've harvested corrupted crystals before, right? So it isn't as though you require my assistance. Speak to the man guarding the gate. I'm sure he'll let you in. Now, if you'll please excuse me. And then she swims back. Well, awesome. We live on this island now. Hello, David. Beg your pardon, sir, but how did you come here? Access to this island is currently restricted. No pot. I'm sure I follow. Oh, I see. You wish to harvest a corrupted crystal. Sorry, friend, but you may have to return empty-handed. At least give me some money. Thank you. The Ripmaster Mimidoa gave you may access... M you may... The Ripmaster Mimidoa gave you may grant you access to the island, but only authorized personnel may proceed past this point. Why, you ask? Look up and see for yourself. When the giant mass of crystal struck the lighthouse, it caused severe damage to both the structure and the machinery that within that once powered the beacon. Very contrary to what the small folk would have you believe, the fires of Pharaoh Sirius were not the product of a mage's thaumaturgy or a colossal arcane bomb, but an elaborate contraption fueled by ethereal energy. Repairs are still ongoing, but it's anyone's guess when they'll be complete. What's worse, all work is ceased since rumors of the walking dead drove off our entire crew not that those rumors are incorrect i've observed the fiend i've observed the fiends from a distance at the ship graveyard to the south what has drawn them to our shores is still a mystery though i'll make you a deal weeble help me unravel this mystery and i'll bring you the corrupted crystal in fact i shall begin searching for one that satisfies your requirements As for where to begin your inquiries into the situation, it just so happens that a party of three adventurers came ashore not long ago. 
Digging to scavenge valuable trinkets at the ship graveyard. I'd be surprised if they knew nothing of the undead infestation, so it might behoove you to question them. My investigation continues. My god. Guess I'm joining this. I gotta kill these guys. There more? There they are. Oh. Come here. I don't like their giggle. What do you think you're going? You're not getting the fuck away from me. <laughs> I got him. Boy thought he was going to escape. Little did he know that he was on my list. Alduil, Lewis, and Arapi to Ropi. It's all there for taken. Five blatant years worth of wrecks on their cargo. Those queer dead things and that voice. Actually, the voice was quite nice. It's a siren! It's a fucking siren. God's that voice. That single fleeting verse. I can still hear it. Be clear of the southern shore, friend. Take every ounce of my strength to resist. Good for you. I'm sexless. You saw him too, right? Dead people. Just shambling about without a care in the world. Except when they do seem to care, that is, and start shuffling towards the water. Spooky. Jesus, why do you need a lighthouse this big? Hmm? This talk of the alluring voice is disturbingly... This talk of an alluring voice is disturbingly, disturbingly familiar. As if... That's impossible. They're all dead, aren't they? Nope, sirens are not extinct. But if they have returned, that would mean... Oh, beg your pardon, I was just, um, thinking about something. Which reminds me, I reserved, received word that Master Mimado would be arriving any moment. Apparently he grew tired of waiting for the lanky young lad with the thousand yalm stare to return. Which I'm assuming is you. I'm not very lanky. I don't know what sort of arrangement you had, but you should probably go and explain yourself. I'm not lanky. What the hell, Mimidoa? What's been keeping you in this shit? I ain't getting any younger, you know. Yeah, some honey-voiced harlot's been calling out the folk that want wander near the ship graveyard. And it stirred up the dead and all. Bloody hells. This takes me back to my days as a cannon boy sailing under old mist beard. But they wouldn't dare, would they? Not after the lesson we learned them last time. They bloody would though, wouldn't they, brazen old biddies? Some folk said as the first purge would be the last, but I know. Knew deep down in me bones as this day would come. And come it has. I bet me a bum. A science behind... Oh, I met me bum ear a science behind all this. I not one of the sanguine variety initiate. I speak of the other kind. Then what's got feathers and lure sailors to a watery grave with their sweet, sweet song. 
Oh, but it don't end there. No, drowning's just the start. The even in death, a man stays bound to the beast, forced to do her bidding until his corpse can't do it no more. It's a fate I wouldn't wish on me worst enemy. To maybe in drink, and I'd regret it after. Any road is up to us to stop this hellsborn hussy afore she takes another soul. Of course, we can't send you marching off to war without these. The siren don't have no power over a man as can't hear her song. It's lucky for you I carry a spare pair. And lucky for the both of us, as uh, I'm a superstitious old sod, eh? Just give me earplugs. Well, she ain't coming to us, so we best head toward her. To the ship graveyard, initiate. He really did give me earplugs. I'm prepared to kick your ass. Taking bets that Mimadoa dies? Oh, hey, they just... Whoa! Big crab. Oh, he's a bad crab. He'll probably kick my ass. Flee! If she passes near the shore, she's sure to spy the campfire and come looking. Just a matter of waiting now. I will stand in the campfire. Hmm. I'm looking. God check. I'm beginning to wonder if some sly bugger ain't spun as a yarn here. The Medoa, no! He's gonna die. Wait, do you hear that? Tis her! Oh my god. Look! I tell her the water. She's come, Nishiet. She's come. Hi. Nice harp. Be glad to shove them plugs in your ears and get ready for a fight. As soon as she realizes you're deaf to her ditty, she'll call on her thralls and we'll be up to our necks and corpses before you know it. I'm going to punch her in the neck. Who loves spun his cruelty's reward? Fine then. I'll fight your fanboys. Oh, hey, you have more. Huh. Cast out callous soul dead to desire. Don't tell me. Rude. Fair mournful mistress, distress. Why? Oh, my. That was a Falmer there. Use you to just heal them. How dare. 
melody, last breath of death, the rhythm. Thus thou not to relent, to regret, forever alone. Forever alone. I guess her sweet song is an actual thing to dodge now. Ow. My love for river, one looks so shiver. No. You have such a way with Lord's words, lady. My, my word. Dotted your shit. Oh my god, there's songs everywhere. No more. Dark Eclipse of the Heart. A total eclipse of the heart. I did it. Clappers. Yeah, am I alright? I'm better than that, initiate. Happy as a sailor in a whorehouse I am. Of course, I'd be happy as a sailor who, with who, I'd be happy as a sailor with two what's-its if we gutted the songstress. But you can't have everything, can you? You know, like I'm grooming around here again, though not for a while any road. And if she does, well, we know what to do, don't we? Thanks for the help, uh, bugger me, I clean forgot your name. Remind me. Weevil? I don't, don't recall having no initiate by that name. But if you're not me old mate, uh, what's the name? Why have you been so bloody helpful? Ah, never mind. Be seeing you, lad. Can I dig up a crystal now, please? Well! One of these days this whale will ascend to the heavens. For now, it'll just do hobbies. Whale just does hobbies. You know, it was a siren. But how were you able to resist her song? I see. I'd heard that Master Mimito was involved in the first purge, but I never actually... Hmm. Having survived an ordeal like that, I can't blame him for carrying earplugs around with him. Anyway, I have something for you. The corrupted crystal you wanted, safely sealed within the pot, just as you requested. Please, take it with my compliments. What, no dungeon? Works for me, I guess. I figured we'd have to do the dungeon, but... Sometimes it really do be like that. Hoppers, hoppers, hoppers. Little, little bouncy legs. Oh, hey, he plays the same song. That's one of the other things. I think the claw. Oh, it's you. Welcome back, Weevil. You're looking remarkably hale, I must say, and... More importantly, alive. You are alive, aren't you? Uh, no, but here, have this pot. Ah, oh, the conquering hero returns bearing a gift. Might I have a closer look? Impressive. Very impressive indeed. Yes, I think you'll be quite pleased with this specimen. Congratulations, Weeble. Seldom, if ever, have I encountered a corrupted crystal composed of such a volatile overabundance of fire expected aether. What, you wanted a corrupted crystal composed of ice? I suspected ether to counteract the effects of a raging wind. Ah, <laughs> well, this specimen won't help you there. Anyone who knows anything about the elements could tell you that. You'll just have to keep looking, I suppose. God damn it.
Don't fret now, I know exactly where to find a corrupted crystal comprised of ice suspected aether. An associate of mine in Gradani has been studying the effects of one such crystal on living beings. What the fuck? Now was that expression? I'd be pleased to hear this news, it's not another wild dodo chase, I assure you. What's even better is that this time, you needn't use that warded pot of yours to protect yourself from this crystal's energies. Eden's finest suggests that it is quite safe. Why, you ask? Well, let's just say that it has undergone a unique process that has rendered such precautions unnecessary. Anyway, do not let me keep you. It's been a pleasure, Weeble. Come back and see me sometime, alright? I'll never see you again. When you say in Gridania, do you mean Gridania proper? Yeah. I'm fucking out of here. Never again will I see you. Nerd. Alrighty. Where am I going? Uh, where are they closest to? The amphitheater. To the amphitheater I go. I actually want to go talk to the... Achievement guy. See if I got anything. See if I got any achievement money. Minion swap. He's the bunny. Hey, Jonathan. I got one... Achievement certificate. Awesome. Take the black chocobo. Nice. Black chocobos are the best chocobo. Except for the golden ones, but the golden ones don't exist. Eden. <clears throat> Greetings and salutations. Mr. Wobble, I resume. Tiana informed me of your adventures in Aleport. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Though, as Professor Lambertant is fond of saying, no action taken in the name of science is ever truly wasteful. To the matter at hand, corrupted crystals possessing the properties you seek could be found in abundance of the standing courses following the calamity. Alas, that is no longer the case. And while there is at least one suitable crystal that remains to be found within the Twelve's Wood, precisely where it is at any given moment is hard to say. Permit me to explain. You are familiar with Spriggins, yes? The furry little rascals that are wont to seek out ores and other stones. Well, one such creature with an infamously insatiable appetite has single-handedly devoured every corrupted crystal in the Twelve's Wood. Fortunately for you, these crystals take an eternity to digest. Assuming they even can be digested. And I'm reasonably confident that one still resides within his gut. It is quite fascinating, really. My theory is that this giggity... <laughs> giggity... First consumed a corrupted crystal when... 
You couldn't care less about all this, could you? To the point, then. Giggity Seldoms makes his present felt unless there is a fi particularly fine fodder to be had. Therefore, we shall require a lure, and I have precisely the sort he will find impossible to resist. Simply place this true heart. I shall save the story of its unusual origin. I shall save the story of its unusual. N I shall save the story of the origin of its unusual name for another occasion. Outside of this brigand's lair, and wait for the opportune moment to pounce. As for the method by which he retrieved the crystal from his gut, I shall leave that to your discretion. I will punch him in the belly until he pop. Do do do. -do. Let's go out this way. If I don't get stuck in a lamp on the way out. Which is more likely than one would, one would think. I have no case, no sense of direction. Especially not with a map in my face. White Wolf? White Wolf makes some good games. And Vampire the Masquerade is going to be not looking... Uh, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic. What up, you fuzzy little shits? Coming through, beep beep. Oh, man. My god, he's... He's a wag. Oh. I was worried. I was actually worried about that, huh? Damn, I suddenly want to go to bed, but I also want to get through this. I desperately want to make more progress. So today, we met a little... A little shit who had to dig a rock up. Then we met a lady who was dealing with the siren on the island, and we did all that. But she wasn't dealing with it, but she was supposed to go to the island, but couldn't. Because the island was on lockdown because of uh, spooky demons and shit. And now we're here. Oh, I pray do not sneak up on me like that. I was engrossed in... Wait, what is that? What is that god's awful smell? Shit crystal. My word, that is a breathtakingly beautiful crystal. I see my su supposition was not mistaken. At least it wasn't a suppository. Oh, and I also see you weren't adverse to digging through the friggin' entrails for your prize. Well, you are a furry friend of of gratitude, you know. This thick coating of digestive juices is protecting us from the harmful effects of the crystal. Just as the warded pot you once used did. Why so glum, friend? You finally obtained the corrupted crystal you sought. When overflowing with earth suspected either. God damn it. Calm down, I just digest. It is composed of ice suspected either. Worry not. I suppose that joke was in poor taste, consisting your, considering your previous attempts were for naught. 
Yeah, you think? I was about to start punching people. And he's not going to give it back to me. Beg your pardon, Weevil. I forgot to return your crystal to you. Oh, and there was a message for you from Professor Lamperton. Lamberton. Something about a man named Mark. Apparently the professor misses into the, the intellectual Apparently the professor misses the intellectual stimulation. Forgive me, I should have written it down. It occurs to me that I have yet to ask why you needed that crystal. You weren't planning anything nefarious, are you? It would reflect poorly on me and my research if it was used for evil ends. Ah, well, it is perhaps it's best to remain ignorant. I didn't become the professor's greatest people by filling my head with unnecessary information. That's very, uh... Very responsible of you. Yeah, well. I'm not here to care. I'm just here to kick ass. I'm too bubblegum. And I'm all out of kick. Man, I get a really weird brain feel from this song, but I don't know what's... I don't know what it is. Let me out. Hey, yo, Sid. I did it. All repairs and modifications have been completed, Weeble. Once you bring me that crystal, nothing will stand between us and Garuda. Hey, here's a crystal. I'll need to run some tests to be sure, but this looks exactly like what we need. Worry not, Weeble. I see that your hard work doesn't go to waste. Awesome. Awesome. The Enterprise is already more than a common airship. But mark my words. Soon it'll become something greater. Something extraordinary. This. This is me. This is what I was born to do. Look at ships. Bum ba da ba Look here, I feel as if though I come home, I can think of no other way to express it. Our time has come. Ooh, nice hat. Don't care for this one. Da 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 da. I might actually take this hat. Might go with a suit down the line. According to my tests, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony with the crystal. Meaning we can leave whenever you're ready. But you must understand, tests can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye. Until we attempt to breach the barrier itself. I cannot be sure that this will work. I think it will only... I think it's only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically significant chance... That the crystal could trigger a massive... Mayhap it is better that we remain positive. Weevil, I want to thank you. For you re reuniting me with my ship. For trusting in me to develop this plan. For everything. You've helped me, re you've helped me to rediscover a part of myself I'd forgotten. I'm not the man I once was, and I do not know if I ever shall be. But I do know one thing. This feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. 
I would have waited until after the mission, but, well, you understand. We're going to die. <sighs> there. She's ready. To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. Still should have been the high wind. This is what I call Final Fantasy. like you. Oh my god, are we doing the time warp? And just how long have I worn these damn goggles? Yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. A young prodigy admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? abandon us all but he was there for me father there for me when you were not though he proved no better in the end Gaius was just another man with an all-consuming obsession Gaius A 
And so I ran, left the Empire behind and came to Eorzea, where I built the Ironworks. Hey, yo, what up? I'm Angel. Ah, yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. Forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light. It was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. Yeah, I'm God. No big deal. Don't worry about it. The Enterprise was made for this. To carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphinord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. Oh, I'm Alpha Nod. I remember everything. My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. I mean, my desk, sorry. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. Assuming that was the end of the text advance. No, it might keep going. Yo, we're fucking in, dude. Image. Hey, correct. I did it. Oh my god. Yo, she is kind of crazy fucking powerful, ain't she? The Howling Eye. Where is that? Where is this in Kurthus? It says this is in Kurthus, but... But where it is, though? Well, who cares? Let's go! All our elf... All our efforts... All our travails. All of it was for this. Make ready, Weeble, for the end is nigh. Be it hers or our own. <gasps> A duty finder. Ignore that. I definitely wasn't doing tons and tons and tons and tons of uh, of rival wings. Now we wait. Can I get up here? Negative. What about here? 
sort of. What about here? That's a that's the abyss. I'm just kind of perch it in there. It seems very dangerous. <laughs> well parked, Sid. Well parked. I applaud you. Man. Are you? And are you? Can I walk on the... We can't take you on the boat. I wanted to go on the boat. Looking forward to starting to level these at some point. I'd love to do so. I'm actually almost maxed out, maxed out with monk that I can do so far. Because I don't have uh, Stormblood or Shadowbringers, because you buy them together now, I guess. I just have Heaven's Word. So, max is 60. I'm almost max level monk. Wowie. After that, I might start leveling Thaumaturge. Then maybe... I'm also about to unlock Dark Knight and, Mac and uh, Machinist, aren't I? I kind of want to do Dark Knight. Bat, bat, be, bat weeble, bat weeble, bat boy instead of bug boy, bug bat. Na 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 bug man, bug man. Bugman! Bugman! I don't want to leave because I'm afraid that if I leave, I won't be able to... Like, I'll have to turn in a quest here. What is it, Weeble? Don't tell me you're having second thoughts at a time like this. But do you truly wish to return to Gridania? Negative. Beyond those gates awaits our foe. Are you prepared to meet with them? I am. But we need friends. Dance with me, boys. The pre-battle dance. Lovely. Super fucking cool, dude. Almost done a hundred fates. Jesus. I almost have 30 orchestrian tracks as well. God damn. And one more leap? Oh my god. I need to do more supply missions. Ooh. Interesting.
500 live quests. One, 5,000 live quests. Holy shit. Them with the trade craft. Oh my god. The Reaper. Oh shit. Yo, we need to get that. We get that, dude. Man. I can become a Reaper and end Walker, is what I was trying to say. Sorry, I'm. My brain is actually starting to melt. I might call it early after this. The Flame Lord. Oh, hey, another moment. There's a fucking pet. We're doing the sightseeing log. I don't like the sightseeing log, though. That's probably... Wait, no, that's a... That's not the T-Rex. Ubo crown. Look, I'm be a moogle tonight. Need to go for 100 times. One thousand times. Mm. Need to play a lot of Rival Wings, which is okay with me, because Rival Wings is actually kind of fun. And I want to go back to the Palace of the Dead. There we go. Yeah, we might do this and call it. I'm pretty tired. I've been getting pretty shitty sleep. <laughs> I laid up and staying up. Playing Final Fantasy. Which, you know, time well spent. But still.
Who dares intrude upon my sanctuary? Your insolence shall not go unpunished, land walkers. Bulls preserve, she's she's huge. Big AF brother. As I live and breathe. Over there. Look. Sacrifices of other these tribes. Malja and Cobalt prisoners. But why would the Ixal bring them here? Tee hee hee. Wherefore come you hither, foolish immortals? Garuda. We've come to put an end to your reign of terror. Hear you this blasphemy, my children. These land walkers would bring me low. Eh, you who are bound to crawl upon the earth should revere me, for I am the wind. Did we not take to the skies and slip your defenses? We are bound by nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Landwalker. This is my realm, where none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle though you may, I shall slake the roots with your blood, and festoon the canopy with, the canopy with your entrails. Dee. Ask me, the say the unfeathered ones we shall. An offering to Gruda they will serve. Leave the exile to us, Weeble. We will keep them distracted while you deal with her. Do not fail, Weeble. Remember, you fight for the Scions, for Eorzea. Ooh. Hello, chicken lady. This one would die by mine own hand. Come then, I shall grant you that which you seek. Let's fucking go. Give us a moment. Go!
I assume this is hide behind rock time. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? She's back. Ooh. No, 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 no. Not that bad. Womp womp. What? How in the hells? <laughs> this is my realm. You have no hope here. None. None. Did you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? Right in my eyeballs. My power is limitless. My children legion. And they have rendered onto me a wealth of crystals. Their gifts sustain me. Their faith empowers me. None save my children will escape the reckoning mortals. And those who would use my crystals to waken the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me, the one true god, Tihi. Force worship. So long as the Ixal keep praying, she will never fall. Then let's stomp them. Just kill all the Ixal. Wait, where are you going? No, oh, it's illegal. Yeah, <laughs> No harm will come to you, my children. This is only the beginning, land walkers. All who oppose me shall suffer for their defiance. Soon the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next, their walls of stone will not shield them from the tempest. And then I shall take revenge on the sea lice. Their wooden boats cannot outrun the wind. Trimble, mortals, for I shall visit you all in time, and all shall be mine, all mine. You, Landwalker, who dared to raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay for your sins, not with your death, but with your life. You will serve me, Landwalker, until your last breath. I'm untemperable. Fucking try me. No, no, I claimed you. You should be mine. Ah, I'm a god. What did you expect? <gasps> Final Fantasy music. Yo, give me that crystal, lady. I eat the crystal. I'll...
I finally collected all the sages. What? What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This... this is impossible. What up, it's me, ya boy, God. Aw, oh, man. They're all gone. Sometimes it do be like that. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it! Ah! Impossible it is! Kill you all! Is that all? Oh, Lady of the Vortex! Oh, mighty Garuda! Of all primals, the most terrible, I say again, is that all? Gaius! Ah, uh, Sid, my boy. You look well. For one who has forsaken kin and country. I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... <laughs> I, w I didn't really think about that part. I shall accomplish far more. My god, he's fucking Batman. Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal! I shall make you suffer! That foul stench! I see now. She has touched you! Very well. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? Our Lord of the Infernal, Almighty Freak, grant us succor in our hour of need. She cannot mean to. Or summon a Freetan Titan. This is a problem. boy we must run yeah we gotta fucking go dude surrender yourselves unto me I would feast upon your ether none shall stand against the wind well 
I guess they're going to fight it out then. The hell is that? Bear witness to the glory of the Empire. Oh shit, is that Ultima? Omega? Kinda looks like Omega. This fucking dumpster two primals instantly. Ultima. And no, no, no! Oh, damn. Chicken nuggets, I guess. gonna be a boss. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the Empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are as wise as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are impressive, but they will not be enough. Have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? And who was that armored devil? That was Gaius Van Balsar, legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion and supreme commander of the Garlean invasion force in Eorzea. Of course, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize? Grandfather mentions him in his journal. I was never so naive as to think the man would abandon his ambitions. But these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the Calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, guys. Where in the seven hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments, but the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. Yeah. <laughs> While I take no comfort in the manner of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the primals to one side, for the time being at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius's new toy. Indeed. That weapon poses the greatest threat to Eorzea. It must be destroyed. But first, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, my friend. For we bear the light, and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. I think one of my least favorite speech ticks in the game is probably must needs. I fucking hate that 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 construction.
Heroism. Are we back in Uldah? <gasps> My home. With this one tower that looks like it's about to fucking crumble. Well, that was an experience I would rather not have again. Something has been troubling me, Weeble. Shortly before the Black Wolf took center stage when Gruda attempted to claim you as her own. Could have sworn I saw. Oh, but I'm sure I was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye is apt to be misread by even the most inquiring mind. Forget that I've mentioned it. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion, they may consider the matter of the primals closed until further notice. No beast tribe will dare summon their god so long as that weapon exists. Truly a more effective deterrent I could not imagine. Almost seems a shame to plot its destruction. I take a the hit. And I summon a new minion. Yes. My spirit animal. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, yo. I need this for potential Link cosplay. <laughs> It is past time that we return to the Waking Sands. To leave our headquarters in disrepair any longer would be to dishonor the memory of those who fell there. We would have been brought to our knees, but we will rest, rebuild, and rise once more. I believe in us. To the Waking Sands. We're definitely not going to die. Again. I for one would like to see how many people survived. Who actually survived all that? Wish I could bounce on my ass like that. Smooth 14,000 gil. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, who's still alive? Still dark in here. At least it's not covered in corpses anymore, I suppose. Feels bad, man. I liked some of those people. I, I, I had no idea, Weeble. I can only imagine how you felt when you returned that day. It sucked. Tell me, Weeble, does Audio strike you as odd? I see signs of recent habitation. Could it be that we have trespassers? Mayhap it is just in my imagination. Come, let us proceed into the solar. Invaders. Wait. Oh, hey, Zeta. Who goes there? Now, now, Ida, is that any way to greet a friend? Alpha no, we will. Sid? Wait, is this a dream? Not that I'm aware of. Been a while, Ida. Then she dies. 
I... I don't believe it. I was sure you'd been... Where's Papa Limo? This place has seen better days. Uh, you know... I wasn't actually here when... I was still in talks at the Adder's Nest. The first I knew about it was when I came back and... And I saw... Either. The church had taken care of the bodies, but that still left the stains. It was hard to know where to start if Yashtola hadn't been here to help me. Yashtola's here too? Yes, but she's not here right now. She's gone to Uldar to meet a man who might know what happened to the others. Papalimo and Menphilia weren't among the dead according to the church. Yashtola thinks they were taken somewhere. So Yashtola, Papalimo, Menphilia, uh, we saw Tataru get taken. Indeed, is here. On the orders of the Black Wolf, no doubt. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that can be brought to bear against the primals. One that Gaius is yet to harness. The Echo. Gaius will be aware of, existen of its existence as well as the immunity it grants the gifted to the primal's influence. Powerful though his elegant weapon may be, he would doubtless desire such protection. protection. He means to use Menphilia to gain an understanding of the Echo, none of which explains how the Empire came to know the location of the Waking Sands in the first place. No matter. The Empire has shown its hand, and we now we must act. It is up to us to rebuild the Scions and save Eorzea. Can I count on you, Ida? What? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Whatever you need. We can discuss our next move upon Yashtola's return. For now, I say we rest. We're getting the gang back together. Can't do any of those things. Oh, shit. Thanks, Crystal Mom. Oh, hey, Yashtola. Yashtola. Put this back up. 
Weevil. I see you and Alphano are safe, and... and Sid. That we five should meet each other thus defies simple explanation. It's as if the benevolent hand of Master Louis Waugh guides us still. You would not see us undone so easily. Not now, when the, we the need is so great. I know where Menphili and the others are being held. Where? An imperial stronghold in the heart of Mordu Mordona. Castrum Sentry. In a castrum. In a fucking castrum. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Casing the castrum. Hmm. The rescue of our allies will be no small undertaking, Weeble. Even under normal circumstances, breaching the defenses of an Imperial castrum would be a highly dangerous proposition. By now. But now that Castrum Sentry houses prisoners whom the Garleans deem valuable, we may be confident that they have taken additional measures to ensure the stronghold's security. If we are to free our friends, we will require an effective strategy. And if we are to formulate an effective strategy, we will require intelligence. I believe I know a man who may be able to assist us, assist us in this. Lord Portalain of House Durandair. He's stationed at the Observatorium in Curthis. Let us go to him and beseech his aid. Back to Curtis. And Durandare's on our side too, so that works out. However, I am a big tired and need to get healthy sleep. I need to stop saying it, staying up till six in the morning. Alrighty. Thank you all for hanging out though. And I'll try to stream again tomorrow. For now though, I'll see you all later. Uh-oh.